Hi, this is Talon Jane. This is my week two assignment for FTE 211, the uh, 1911 uh, culmination course. And what we're going to be doing this week is completely disassembling the 1911. Um, we will then go over the parts. Uh, we'll pick out six parts at random. We'll describe what those parts are. And then we will reassemble. And then um we'll demonstrate all eight steps of the cycle of operations and articulate what we're expecting to see in those steps and that's assuming we can get it all back together so stay tuned we'll get right to the disassembly and uh, start going over the parts thanks <laughs> for the six parts of our random um parts of the 1911 that we have to describe. Uh, my first random number is number 32, which is the recoil spring. The recoil spring is part of the recoil spring assembly. It plays a part in the feeding and chambering uh, and locking portions of the cycle of operations. Basically, as the slide travels rearward, the recoil spring will get compressed. And then um, as the recoil spring pushes the slide back forward, the slide will engage the rim of the cartridge, uh, which will feed and chamber the cartridge and lock the breech. The second uh, random number is number 34, which is the recoil spring plug, which is this piece right here. Uh, this kind of serves two purposes. One is, um, well, it's part of the recoil spring assembly again, and it plays a part in the same things, the feeding, chambering, locking portions of the cycle of operations. Uh, but in addition to that, it captures the recoil spring and holds it in place from shooting out the front of the firearm. Um, and it does that using the barrel um, lug right here. So, so basically it, it uh, locks it in place right there. And then um, it also, well, that's the two things. It keeps it in place and, and it locks it in place. So uh, there we go. Number, the next one is number 23. That is the main spring cap. So this is part of the main spring assembly, which is pretty much all of this stuff right here. The main spring cap, uh, is part of the firing and cocking portions of the cycle of operations and basically as the hammer is cocked um, you're going to see the hammer strut which is this piece right here that's connected to that with this little pin right here this hammer strut uh, forces the main spring down through using the cap and the cap basically um, kind of provides the surface area for that spring so that it can be compressed and that's what uh, provides the tension uh, for the hammer. So uh, there's that. Next one is the uh, 33. That's another piece of the recoil or spring assembly. Uh, so we, now we have all three pieces of the recoil spring assembly. This is the guide rod or uh, the recoil spring guide, whichever one you want to call it. Again, the recoil uh, assembly plays parts in the feeding, chambering, and locking portions of the cycle of operations. Um, it basically, where this um, captured it in the front, this captures it in the back and keeps it straight. So um, that's it for number 33. Number 29 is the plunger spring, which is this little spring right here, which is connected to these two little plungers. Um, this is part of the safety systems of the 1911 and um, it's not necessarily part of the cycle of operations. It aids in the effort to prevent you from cycling through the cycle of operations. Uh, so basically on the 1911, there's two safeties. There's the thumb safety, um, which goes up here. And then there's the grip safety, which goes back here. Um, if it was a series 80, it would have an additional um, safety that is part of the firing pin, but this is a Series 70, so it doesn't have that. Um, you can tell because of that flat spot right there. So basically this uh, interacts with this um, and, and basically that little dimple right there, that plunger uh, interacts with that dimple and kind of holds that in its different places. So 
that's all six parts of my random parts of my 1911 and now for the reassembly we're going to make sure this is clear even though i just assembled it drop the magazine observe that there's no am ammunition in the magazine so removing the feed source we're going to lock this to the rear slide to the rear we're going to observe the chamber visually and physically this is now clear all right so to start i'm going to Take the magazine and load four um, snap caps. All right. So the first uh, part of the operation is feeding. This happens when you take the slide to the rear. Let's see if you can see. It's going to grab the uh, snap cap and feed it into the chamber. Okay, so the next is chambering, which is happening at the same time. We're chambering, feeding, and chambering okay and then i don't know if i can show you probably so the last step right here or not the last step the next step is locking which if you'll notice right as the slide goes forward the barrel comes up and locks into place so now the snap cap is in the chamber and the barrel uh chamber is locked with the slide so uh next is firing okay first uh what we'll do is we'll put it on safe We'll verify that our safeties work. So if I do this, it doesn't work. If I hold back this, it doesn't work. If I take this off, it doesn't work. Until I push this and this is off, they will do it. So the next step is firing, which you'll listen closely. You see the hammer move. Okay, so that was firing. All right, next is unlocking, which if this was a live round, the chamber pressure would have slidden this back. So turn this back around so you can see so it's now unlocked okay and then we're going to extract which let's see if I can show you here the extractor grabs onto the back part of the shell there the little lip there and as it's coming back that'll also do the ejection which it didn't because I was going slow but there so We'll do that again so you can see. All right, so it goes forward, fire, and then I'll go a little faster this time. All right, so it's ejected, and that also cocks the hammer if you didn't see. So as the slide slid backwards, it recocks the hammer, uh, which is the cocking action. So we've got feeding, chambering, locking, firing, unlocking, extracting, ejecting, and cocking. So we've gone through them all. And that completes my week two assignment for FTE 211. Thanks a lot for watching.